Hi, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort, and today I'm going to show you how to split this granite block with feather wedges. Here's a close-up of a feather wedge, which is comprised of four components. You have the wedge itself, you have two sides of the sheath, and then you have an elastic that holds everything together. So the concept is that once the hole is drilled, you'll go ahead and insert the end of the sheath into the hole and you will drive this wedge into the feather wedge which will create separation and ultimately split the, the, the granite or the rock that you're looking to split. Um, these are on Amazon for about 12 bucks. I'll include a link in the description um, for more information. There are many different ways in which we can split this block. One of the ways would be to go down to the hardware store and rent a giant stone cutter. Um, they come with wheels that are about seven inches in diameter. They're heavy, they're awkward to use, they're really loud, and they throw a ton of dust. What's worse is that they're really expensive. So it'll run you probably about 50 bucks irrespective of how much time you're gonna rent it. So personally, I'd rather spend less money and get tools that I can keep in the end. Um, in addition to being able to use some regular tools that most people have lying around the house, including a drill like this one. Um, I am actually going to be using a rotary hammer today, which is going to make my job a little bit easier, only because I already happen to have the bit that I'm using that only fits with a rotary hammer drill. But, um, you know, as I mentioned, most drills come with a hammer drill function, so there's no problem in using a regular masonry bit um, that'll help you dig into this rock. So, um, I've drawn the line in the rock. What I'm actually going to do is go over it with a chisel just to scribe the line itself, it'll make the uh, fracture that develops a little bit easier to follow the, the path that I've at least created for how I want the rock to split. And let's go ahead and get started. While not an entirely necessary step, I'm gonna go ahead and just chisel across the line, as I mentioned before. So generally when we drill our holes, we want them at a minimum about six inches apart. Because this, this slab isn't that wide, we're actually going to drill at probably uh, two inch increments. So we're going to go ahead and insert the feather wedges now and essentially what you want to do is orient the two ends of the sheath in the direction of each side of the rock that you're going to split. So in this case, because this is one side and this is the other, we're going to orient the feather wedge such that the sheath is on each side. There we go. Okay, so all we're going to do now is tap these sequentially. So we'll go one, two, one, two, one, two, and so on and so forth. And you don't really have to hit them that hard. You don't need a sledgehammer. You can just use a regular hammer that you have around the house. See it starting to split? It's that easy. As you can see, this is a really easy technique. And there's a reason that up here in New England for hundreds of years, they've been using feather wedges to split granite. As you can see, it's an incredibly clean cut as well. If you found this helpful and you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.